Do not feed the monkey 2099. If you haven't played the first game yet, then go and play the first game. It's incredible. This game is similar enough to the first game to still be very very good, but is still lacking in certain ways. There are also quite a few easter eggs and sellbacks to the first game, so you will need to definitely get more out of this if you have played this first game. I didn't enjoy the futuristic artwork, but uh, of the plot lines would still work it in modern day settings and there was something about the first one being set in modern day that made it more emotion and engaging, uh, you can imagine the storylines playing out of reality. There are less different cages than in the first, uh, which is one of the hand makes it easier when you need a particular cage for an achievement. You will almost definitely get the gauge in the run through, but of course it also reduces replayability as there is less content. It felt like it was harder to gather clues and unlock crucial bits of emotion in needed to feed the monkeys. The characters talked more, more but gave less clues and a lot of the clues you could get razor were actually unnecessary and just padding. I actually liked the alternative uh, dialogue on different days, but having a crucial piece of information that is essential to soul, to catch, to appear, only one across two days and at the very beginning of dialogue exchange, what is case for one of the cages, make it feel virtually impossible and incredibly frustrating when you don't know what that you are missing. It felt uh, like there was a less scope for making moral decisions. More of the cages felt like they only had one solution and the ones that had different solutions, it didn't feel like there was a much insensitive to make bad decision except for the sake of it. Like for example, you can incorrectly identify a murderer but you don't get anything out of it. No one bribes you on anything, your only motivation is to be a bad person. Likewise, you can poison a music festival but get nothing out of it. You only cause a guy house to get flooded but nothing out of it. The device measuring uh, morality also seemed to be the way less sensitive than in the first game, which I found the most frustrating aspects, as an effect of the index you can get. In the first game, every decision made for the cage seemed to be have an effect. In this game, very few actions related to cages seemed to have an effect. The only things that had an effect were the answers given a conspiracist who knocks on your door, whether I was never quite sure what the correct answer was, or tripping your delivery driver. Rather than measuring good versus bad decisions, it felt like more is measuring whether I was on the side of the organization of the conspiracist, neither of which were portrayed as the good guys. Maybe this was actually the point, but if it was, I would say, the measuring of good versus bad morality in the first game was more effective. There might be re you like a negative review, but if you want to know everything good about this game, then go and write, read and watch some other reviews for the first game, and then play the first game. If you have already played the first game, then you should know whether you will like this one or not, and it's more of the same with few drama bags I've highlighted here. Bye bye.